Salt. First thing you do is you roll out the lemon a few times and puncture it with a toothpick. And then all you do is you insert it into the cavity of the chicken, like so. The next step is totally optional, but you might like to place some sage leaves under the chicken skin like this. First of all, you cut off the sage leaves, and then you simply insert them underneath the skin of the chicken. You've got to lift this up, put your finger underneath the just insert the sage leaves. And they give an awful lot of flavor to the chicken. It's a bit messy, but it really transfers the flavor to the meat. Okay, it looks like it's time for the chicken to be uh, ready, taken out. Here we go. The salt roasted chicken. Okay, now, if your guests are ready, you can remove the dish from the oven and just go ahead and serve it. But usually it's best to let it rest about 15 minutes before removing the crust. Now, in front of company, you can break open the salt crust with a large knife or a mallet. Kids love to do this, but you have to make sure they don't smash the chicken to smithereens. I'll do this here. And gently pull the crust away. And there we have our beautiful salt roasted chicken. Now take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the leaves underneath. section coming away. There we go. I don't mind serving it this way, but you may want to color it a little bit with uh, perhaps a, some paprika just on the top if you want to give it a little bit of color. It carves beautifully and it tastes even better. There we have it. Salt roasted chicken.